Hey guys! Welcome back to Spyro the Dragon. This is the last episode of Spyro the Dragon, by the way. There is not much more to do. Just nasty world, and then we'll take, then we'll take down nasty North. That's all that's left of this series. I probably. Honestly, this has been one of my favorite series I've ever done on this channel. It's a shorter series. This is like part five. It, yeah, this is gonna be so hey, amazing. Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro. And Let's you are the it. dragon that must defeat him. Bring him on. I'm ready. Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. That I will. I am. I'll be happy to challenge him. Cause he can't be turning uh, gems into in into his minions. That's wrong. That is so wrong. He only. All he does is. All that does is cause trouble. We are going to stop him. We mean Spyro and Sparks. Uh, I am seriously on a roll here. Was that a good joke? Was that, did that, did that give you a barrel of laughs? That was another bad pun. Honestly, I hold back a lot of bad puns from you guys. Um, I don't want the whole, the whole video sneaky puns. But, I have a ton of them I could give. You could buck them. Why do they make it so easy for them to... Okay, this guy's easy. Why do they make it so easy to kill him? It's just like... He's just throwing barrels like ahead of... At, ahead, not really thinking about the fact that he just go beside him and then flame him. Flying in the head. Not their strong suit. We have a TNT barrel. Ah. I didn't want to buck a TNT barrel. I'd probably explode. Probably explosive. Oh. That solved him. That solved him. Seriously, am going to misplay in this game. Uh, will I play uh, the other games in the trilogy? Maybe. It's just, uh, just not right now because there are other games I want to play. These other games I want to get to. Um, I'm about to start. I really want to start playing to the. 2013 Tomb Raider, like, like the one, the first part of the trilogy, the reboot. You know how there's Rise of the Tomb Raider, uh, which I've played. I've played Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which is the third one. This is the first of the first of the reboots. Keep up the good work, Spyro. I expect Nasty's really starting to worry about you. I'd be shaking in my Nork boots if I were him. So I want to play more S Spyro and Dimension, maybe. But I want to start playing Tomb Raider more. <laughs> I'm gonna, I want to get back to Tomb Raider. I am like, I'm feeling like, uh, what is it called? 
Hey, uh... I... Either need to play more Tomb Raider or go to Tomb Raider Rehab. Um, one of those. One of those two. But I vote play more Tomb Raider. So I can't wait to start playing that one. Now, uh, by the time you see this, uh, I've already probably completed the game. And, uh... It will probably be all ready to, <laughs> all ready to you know start. I'll probably like, I know I will, I do know at this point that I will premiere it after this game. This is a big game for me. And so it's only natural that the next big game I'm going to play is Tomb Raider 2013. Should I? Bad idea. It's only natural, so I can. I'm pretty certain that after this episode, um, will be. I'll start the new, the new Tomb Raider series. I'm, I'm almost sure of it. Uh, I don't see how it wouldn't be that way. And, after, and I'm not sure what I'll do after I. Tomb Raider. I'm not sure what I'll do. Like, I know I want to play o Assassin's Creed Odyssey as well, so I might do that after Tomb Raider. But enough talk about, like, other games than Spyro. Enough talk about that. Let's talk about Spyro. Let's talk about all the gems that I will cash in. I'll be rich. So many valuable gems. Ooh. Oh, I see what I can do. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm going to fly over. And I'll have to get back to this point. But, um... I'll cut that. I'll cut that out. I am back on track after some frequent, frequently doing other trying to find my way back. I don't know why it was so hard, but I found my way back. So far, this isn't too hard, but I don't want to jinx myself. Okay. Nip. Nip. Bad aim. Nope. Still bad aim. Still bad aim. Still bad aim. Still. Ooh, that worked. That worked. That worked perfect. Didn't work perfectly. Not perfect. Let's get this. Let's rescue this dragon. Let's rescue Tomas. Wow! I never thought I'd be rescued, especially by such a little dragon. Uh, what I mean is, I always believed in you, Spyro. You gotta believe. <laughs> Gracias, Popovor. Popovor, Spyro. Oh no, I know you drink. There! You don't have protection anymore. Never go without protection. Never go without protection. You don't want to do it. You don't want to do it unprotected. That's for sure. By that I mean, like, those guys don't want to be go, go without a protective TNT barrel. I don't mean anything uh, sexual by that. Oh. 
water bag. Remember, water bag. Sort of tempted to go like. What, you know, what are you in the, you know? Be all like, what are you into this time of year? Like, you know, this certain holiday or whatever. I don't want, I don't know when this will premiere. Whatever it, I don't, I wanna, I don't wanna be like. You know, I don't, I, I don't wanna be like, Happy New Year, guys! Like, and then you're like, New Year was a month. New Year's was a month ago. Or I don't know, two weeks ago. New Year's was New Year's was five years ago. Now I'm just coming up with numbers. Whatever. <laughs> it is fun. Uh, that is fun. Come on. That's the only... Is that the only way to get these? Or can I just hit it? Oh, look! That's a TNT guy. I mean, like... I'm not even trying to 100% this game. I do 100 per- I might 100% this level. I'm thinking I might 100% this- try to 100% this level. Uh, but I'm not trying to 100% the game, but I am. Yeah. In a way, like, I'm- Word of advice. If- If, say, you're on a date, and- And then you- And then you, uh- Say you compliment their gems, their and their you know your date's hidden treasures, and they don't like it. Oh, just just say it's auto, just say it was autocorrect. Even if you said it in person, still say it was autocorrect. It'll work. It always works, right? Dodge barrel, dodge barrel. And he's only... He doesn't look to the side of him. He doesn't do that. Of course he doesn't. S the smart guy he is. Unlock it. Unlocked! Gems! I am... Um... For some reason, I... I really do feel like 100%ing this level. I really do feel like doing that. Um, I don't always feel like 100%ing levels, but um, this one. This one I did. It's, a, it's a, that particular feeling like I want to complete this one. You know that feeling, it's like, I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood for complete, I'm in the mood for 100% a lot. I like it too. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's not much room to maneuver here. No! Four hundred out of four hundred, hundred percent completed. I did. I hundred percent. I hundred percent a level, guys. A hundred percent a level. Woo! I feel so good. I feel slightly high. So good. North Cove. It's Dunny. It's totally Dunny. I, I just made a word. Dunny. Like it's done? 
but it's done more enthusiastically than average. Than I don't know what that word is. It should be in the dictionary now, now that I've created it. It should be in the dictionary. I am going to write to uh, Webster's. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write a letter to Webster's and mail it to them because it's 1990s. Up. Paintballs hurt. Paintballs up too. Can you believe? Can you believe people used to write like there is no email? I know there was a time there. Like told oh there was a but you know back in my day we didn't we had to. I've been told there was a time when there was no such thing as email or social media or whatever. And it's a little hard to believe because I can't live without social media or that. Uh, the only reason I use mail is to for things I really need to use. Die. Let's try to do this right. Oh, I didn't. Let's tackle this. No! No, you're not gonna beat me! This guy. Oh, that guy has the nerve. The nerve of that guy. To try to beat me. Spyro! I'm really nourishing this. I'm really nourishing this place. I don't want to leave it. Don't want to leave it. Uh, I tried to study the guy. I tried to study him. Honestly, I struggled with him earlier. I'm lying. I struggled with him. I'm just gonna edit. I just edited it out the struggle. I'm just gonna edit it out. So you don't see me struggle. Thank you for rescuing me. Uh, you better pay me some good money. These guys are not fun. What games are you guys looking forward to in 2019? Um... I'm not sure what I'll do. No! No! Just no! How rude! No! 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 No, no, no. Uh, well, I went to a safe. I, I've decided that after, that after enemies I defeat, I'm going to go to a save point and save it. It might be, seem a little cheap, but uh, you have to resort to cheapness sometimes. If it means... These guys are not... This is the hardest part I've ever... This, uh, this is actually genuinely a little bit different. Be on the lookout for no commando, Spyro. But as I was, you better be on the lookout for me. Before I get interrupted by those rude brutes, I.
Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm just not. I'm not sure because like I take my. You guys know I take my time on games and I don't rush through them. So I like to live in the world of that game rather than just rush through it. So um, I have to be very picky about what games I forward to in 2019. Um, I'm thinking about maybe getting a Nintendo Switch, to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure if I will or not, but it would be fun. And one thing is, I base... I like to play current games. But also, I base what current games, like what games I play, current or classic, on what I want, on what I would enjoy playing, and will be worth, what I feel will be worth my time. I think I've done enough announcements. Gamer decide to return home. Alright, that's enough. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Nork Nexus. Oh, I like with the G. It has the G in front of it. I just realized that. Nasty Nork. Okay, I'm gonna give this a go, but I can't promise, but I might do the boss battle after I practice. I don't know. Let's go. Guys, I admit this is not my first try. This is not my second try. This is not my third try. This is not my fourth try, fifth try, or sixth try. I'll admit that right um, and I can't guarantee this time will work. I can't guarantee I'll do it this time. This is a challenging boss battle, but I've learned to be a much better Spyro player because of this. It's tested my skills. This is a legit tricky boss battle. Um, so, you go after the guy, you go, you know, one guy, you get the key, you go after the other guy, you get a key, you unlock this, and then now, after chase, after chase after the nasty north now, uh, avoid any pitfalls, watch where you're going, don't fall into the purple stuff, See if I can get this first try. This, it's, this gets really fun once you're once we get used to it. Once again. 
But this is a legit great boss battle. Um, it's like challenging. I like it when something is challenging, but not like, but not unfairly challenging. Just like you need to, you need to get better at what you're doing, kind of challenge. You need to learn to get, you know, get good. As some of you might, as some people might say. Let's see if we can get him this way. Got him. Where it forces you to basically get good. That kind of boss battle, I don't mind. If it's unfair, if it's just deliberately unfair and it tracks your movements, knows what you're gonna do, and it's just very unfair. I don't. I hate this boss. Battle. This boss battle. You just gotta get good. Some tough platforming. This is the furthest I've ever been. I did it. I did it. I did it. After some. You're toast, Nork. <laughs> I did it. So long. Almost forgot about you guys. What about Ganasty Ganork? Nasty Nork is toast. So now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Uh, well, mostly. I've still got some treasure to find. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. Well, we beat Ganasty Ganork, as the interviewer called the now um, defeated enemy. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this series. It's been um, my favorite to play. I've had so I just have so much fun. Like I enjoyed capturing. The out of the Tomb Raider uh, so much. And, but this is a different kind of fun. This is more of a... This has been like a... This is a thing where it's nostalgic. It's been like so nostalgic for me, but it measures... But the game holds up well. It, it's not just... Well, some games might be nostalgic, and then you play them again, and you think, oh, they're only, oh, it's only okay. But this was, isn't just okay. This, it holds up to the nostalgia, I think. It, where you see exactly why you loved it in the first place. And you love it just as much as you did then. And that's how this, that's how this game is. Um, Now, there's a chance I might do, you know, one or both of the others in the trilogy in the future. There's a chance I might. But for now, as I said before in the video, I'm going to do Tomb Raider 2013, the one that started the reboot. And I'm to finish up. The, to get the first part of the story. I know, I got the second part of the story with Rise, then third part with Shadow, and then I got the first, but to complete the story, um, then I'm gonna do Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Um, and I'm not sure what I'll do beyond that point, but that's what's coming, but that's definitely what is coming up. So I want to say, again, Thank you guys for watching this series, and it, it means so much to me. Thank you.